Right, so once you've sanded these pieces, what you want to do is you want to take your contact cement, you want to apply a layer of contact cement to the arrowhead here. And you want to apply contact cement to both sides of your flat foam rubber. So you want to put that aside and let it dry. And then you want to apply contact cement to the bottom of the uh, cut open golf ball. Like that. So you just let everything dry. So once it's dry, we'll put it together. Alright, so now that it's dry, what you want to do is you want to take the foam rubber, make sure it's centered, and then you want to press these two together so that it becomes glued to the uh, base here. And then what you want to do is you want to take this piece, center it, and then you want to press that in so that it all gets pressed together. There you go. So now what we're going to do is we're going to, it's a little rough as you can see. So what we're going to do is we're going to actually, I'm going to grind this. So I'm going to use a belt sander and sand this down until this is all uniform. So I'm going to go do that and I'm going to show you what that looks like. All right. So this is what it should look like. So you just go ahead and you grind it. And it doesn't have to be perfect. And we're, we're going to be covering this up with strapping tape and then we're going to be covering that with you know the tape of your choice but another thing you want to do and this is what I've done here is I've actually taken a length of tape and just wrapped it around the shaft and what this does is it'll help prevent you know the arrow from lifting splinters and if it ever does snap it'll all stay in one piece just an added layer of safety so now that you've got this, we're going to start wrapping this up. So, all right, so you want to start by cutting two strips of fiberglass strapping tape. What you want to do is you want to actually cross it, bring it over the top like this. You want to pull it tight on both sides, as tight as you can, and then wrap the base around the shaft. You can see, so we've got one wrap going that way. You take your other piece. So now what you want to do is you want to do that one more time with the strapping tape and then we're going to go over, I'm going to use electrical tape. You can use duct tape if you want. Alright, so now that this is fully wrapped up, what you want to do is you want to take your strapping tape or your electrical tape and start about an inch below the Head here, and you want to bring a strip over. Okay. And you want to wrap that down. Right. 
Take that down and around. Okay. Now I do another one. And then you want to go one last time. Yeah. So there you go. Oh, that's what that looks like. Now what I like to do is just starting from, you see the little bulge right here? Starting from there to kind of smooth it down, you just want to wrap tape around and then you want to I mean starting from the bottom here you want to wrap your tape around and then you want to go up and you want to blend it into the point here so if you can see, there it is. There's the point. So, so now this is your uh, finished arrow shaft plus the uh, blunt point here. Now all you really need to do is put fletchings on here. All right, so just wanted to show you these are six that I've finished. And I've put the uh, fuzzy fur fletch on these. These work really well for kids' arrows. Uh, it's kids' arrows. So here we go. Here they all are. Yeah. Thanks for watching my video. Bye.